Good evening, everybody. As ever, I'm quicker than Facebook. <laughs> so just give it, a ch give it a chance to catch up. And then we are hopefully good to go. So I'm just refreshing my Facebook page. Here we go. And we're on. So hi, Shaz. So I'll give it five minutes and let everybody get here. Hi to, oh crikey, there's a few of you already there on YouTube. So good evening, everybody. <laughs> I'll take this screen off in a second. Oh, it'll take me too, so it'll take me too long to say hello to you all individually. So good evening. How are we all? What a lovely day it's been today. What a lovely day. Hi, Janice, Di, Emma, Sue, Caroli. So I'll take this, I'll take this off because we know what I'm going to be doing. So, so hi, Lona. So I'll just give it a five minutes and let everybody get settled in. Hi, Di. Hi, Sue. So I'm not going to say hello to everybody because we'll be here forever. Hi, Caroline on YouTube. Everybody else. So my YouTube is behind me. Let me just pull that to the end and catch it up. There we go. That's caught up. So I'm not going to start doing anything. There's a few bits of things I need to tell you before we start doing any work. Um, or before I start doing it. Hi David, how are you? Hi sally Ann. Oh bless you. Well you'll get your fix tonight doll. Hi Andy. Hi Wendy. <laughs> Hi Karen. You'll get your fix tonight. It's something a bit different. Hi Hope. Yeah we've had gorgeous weather. Well we, we have in Nottingham. It's been gorgeous today. Um, in fact, I've already got my curtains closed because the sun's the sun's quite bright on the back. Hi, Paula. So yeah, it's been it's been lovely there. Oh, lovely here, rather. Hi, Julie. Hi, Jill. Hi, Debbie. So I'll just wait till everybody gets in. I'm not going to say tell you what I need to tell you until everybody's here because I'll just have to repeat myself, and nobody wants that. So you can see what I've got on my desk here. You can tell what colour theme we're doing tonight, look. <laughs> Pink and grey, which I thought would be a lovely... Oops, I've just knocked the camera. Which I thought would be... Oh, hi, Carol, welcome. It's a bit of a madhouse, so I'm sure I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Hiya, Bev. How are you, Chuck? David Sunburn. Well, you will do. You're on the coast in Scarborough. I bet it's been gorgeous there. Oh, I'm glad you remembered, Rose. <laughs> Hi, Tracy. I know, you can't really go wrong with uh, with pink and grey, can you? Carol, get a drink. It'll be a fabulous two hours. One to two hours, Di says. <laughs> Hi, Jean. Hi, Beverly. Right, so let's just see where we're at before I start. Better than <laughs> Denise is off already. So good evening to everybody I've not spoken to already. So as ever, um, fabulous demo lined up for you. Whether you've you've probably noticed that I'm going through this clean and simple ish phase. And um, before, oh, where did I put it? Before I start tonight's demo, I'm just going to show you the one that I made on YouTube and put on YouTube. Uh, I don't know whether it was yesterday or the day before, but this is the one, this is the card that I've, there is a video of this already on the YouTube channel, so do have a watch if you've not seen it. And I wanted to show it you in real life because the photo just doesn't, the photo doesn't pick up the detail. So we're not doing this tonight, obviously the video's already on YouTube. Um, so do have a watch, it's the, it's the newest one. I only put it on yesterday or the day before, I can't remember when. Uh, but it just shows you how lovely these chalk paints are. What a gorgeous colour palette. <clears throat> right. So I'm going th I'm going through this phase of, yeah, it's, well, Hope's, Hope's saying on YouTube she loves clean and simple. So I actually don't mind clean and simple as long as it's got techniques in it. I think what I struggle with was the, with the clean and simple, just the language, clean and simple, uh, is contradictory to what my cars usually are. So I I struggle to 
I struggle to do clean and simple in its truest sense, which is not a lot on it. <laughs> so I think as long as as long as um, as long as it's technique based and it looks fabulous at the end, I'm quite happy with clean and simple. So that's kind of what I'm trying to show you now. Hi, Helen. Uh, trying to show you how we can still do fabulous clean and simple cars with all our lovely Sentimentally Yours products. And, oh, I've got another pair of glasses here. Uh, and clean and simple can be what you want it to be. Chalk pain, you need to see these in action, Carol. Get on the YouTube channel after and watch the video. Um, the chalk, the, they're an absolute, they're an absolute must have. Are you? <laughs> Dai's just said on Facebook because I've just said clean and simple is is contradictory to what I normally do. So Dai's just said, "Are oh, my cars normally dirty and difficult?" Do you know what, Dai? I think they probably are. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, I'm going to remember that, Dai. I'm going to remember that difficult, dirty, and difficult. Oh, I love that. Um, yeah, so so we're going to do uh, a relatively clean and simple card tonight using these spectacular square stamps because we've not used these stamps for ages. There's a couple of things I need to tell you before I start. Yeah, thank you, Jean. I think they can. I think it's just getting the balance right. Jean's just saying minimalistic cards can look amazing. And I think they can. I think it's just about getting the balance right and having having some focal areas and oh thank you carol having some focal areas and some techniques i think it's because i like techniques so that's that's what i'm going to try and teach you all how you can make this is going to be clean and simple believe it or not and it's just a bit bigger than seven by seven it's kind of a seven and a half by seven and a half and i'm not going to add another layer <laughs> so let's get the jobs out of the way let me get a drink first and tell you what i need to tell you Hi Diane, hi Vicky, I've got my coffee look and I've also got a bottle of juice. My fan's on but I've turned it down so hopefully it's not bugging you as much this week. And I've got, I've got my shirt on but it's unbuttoned all the way and I've got shorts on. So I've not even got jammy bottoms on tonight, I've got shorts on. But I'm not showing you my legs, nobody needs to see that on a Monday night. So first things first, little treat for you, very unexpected. Uh, so I'm going to be doing half of a one day special on Thursday. Hi Nina, not to worry. Hi Kathleen. Kathleen's looking forward to seeing the difference between morning mist and hickory smoke. You only have the former. So completely different ink pads Kathleen. So it's a different shade of grey. However, they work really nice together. Uh, I'll, get, I'll do all that when we get to that stage. So Crate and Craft phoned me the other day and asked me if I would do... Uh, cover some shows for them a bit short notice because normally i like to be planned uh and so they asked me if i'll do a one day special this thursday into friday so i said yes i'll do three hours of it <laughs> so you've now got three bonus hours with me on your telly screens this week very unexpected i'm not releasing anything new so I'm not releasing anything new. This will be special offers and it's three, three bundles, <laughs> three bundles with very, very, very special prices. Now, all of my regulars will probably have everything already. Um, but for those of you that haven't been collecting for a few years, you're not going to, you might not have seen what I'm showing you on Thursday and Friday. So I've prepped four demos today so far. I've got two more to do tomorrow. Yeah, I might do Teresa. <laughs> Teresa's just said I might get one card done in them three hours. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, I've actually prepped two. Uh, I've prepped two. Yeah, so they're, they're the hours. Look, I've just popped it on the screen. So 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. on Thursday and then 10 a.m. on Friday. Um, I very, very, very rarely do one day specials. In fact, I've not done any this year. I prefer to do my two hours and then come home. 
but a it helps them out and b it means i get chance to show you some new ideas with products that you might already have or you might not depends uh, and it just re revitalizes uh, and gives you some new ideas with stuff you might already have in your stash so i'll do a reminder of that at the end so one more thing two more three more things i need to tell you so we've just had the delivery now this this is going to be the last time i get these we've just had the delivery let me take that one off because it's not the circles the cascading hexagons have been sold out since february and we've just had the delivery the, the restock 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 yeah i'm not getting any more cascading hexagons so if you haven't got the cascading hexagon texture die you need to get it before this current stock goes because i am definitely not reordering it hi doreen not to worry so if you missed out on this because it sold out in about 20 minutes on my shows on tv and then all of all of our stock on the website sold out as well it's just come back in and once it's gone it's gone and then two more things that are back in stock come in the same delivery the on your special day sentiment edges they've been sold out since february as well at beginning of march actually i'm lying to you beginning of march they've been sold out since the beginning of march so on your special day sentiment edges they've just come back in same as the cascading hexagon once they've gone i'm not restocking them and the same goes for the birthday wishes so birthday wishes on your special day just back in stock once they're gone they're gone so i've told you what i needed to tell you now told you what i needed to tell you well dawn if you've not got birthday wishes or special day or the cascading hexagons it's going to be last chance saloon because i'm definitely not getting any more yeah hi to everybody who's just joining so let's do all the housework first so do 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 where are we here we go so let's get everybody liking and sharing please so please like and share whether you're watching thanks Di. whether you're watching on youtube or facebook you can still like and share uh and then just shows everybody that there are no flowers on this card apart from the stamp is that what you mean carol carol which flowers just so i'm on the right page as you hi Anne. hi debbie let me take that off because it says my eyes funny <laughs> Right, so let's get this card started. I'm really looking forward to this because this is going to be a different way. Hi, Brenda. This is going to be a different, a different look for the Spectacular Square stamps. So, Spectacular Squares. Let's have a look at these stamps before we start because not everybody will have seen them. So, this collection of stamps are designed specifically for you guessed it square cards <laughs> so if you hi heather so if you like flower dyes as i'm a flower addict carol there's loads on the website all of my flower dyes apart from the precious blooms are in stock on the website um precious blooms is out of stock uh, already i can't I, I can't believe i'm saying that because it's literally they've only been out six weeks <laughs> uh but they're all hi pamela how do you share how do i share on youtube you're asking the wrong person uh but on the where the video is um where the video is natalie on youtube underneath it there should be a button next to where the like button is the thumbs up there's a button that says share so you can just click that share and then you can share it wherever you want <laughs> I'm, la I'm laughing at diddy song on youtube somebody must have mentioned housework and denise has put housework well, that's a filthy word <coughs> you are funny 
I love my Monday nights with you a lot. I love my Monday nights with you a lot. Right, so I'm going to show you the spectacular square stamps. These are amazing. Loved them when I did them and I still love them now. And I thought, while I'm doing clean and simple, I wanted to take some stamps that are not necessarily clean and simple and show you how they can be. So I'll quickly flip through them. These are the full bundle of these. Are you ready for this? So all six of these are on the website, half price. Half price, £45 for all three. For, uh, for all six, sorry. You're getting three for free. Anyway, I'm going to show you. So this is the one I'm using tonight. I'm going to flip it over and show you what the whole concept of these was. So the large square is obviously a silhouette. So it's a negative impression. Turn that closer so you can see. There you go. Because the light was shining on it. So the negative impression is a card in its own right. And the negative, the top one, is just over five by five. So just over five inches by five inches, which means if you like to do little six by six cards, that is a card done. Um, can somebody just pop a, a link to the website in, on the comments for Carol, please? I can't do it while I'm on the screen. Uh, you watch Carol, everybody will start sending it, you know. <laughs> do you love them, Lynn? I absolutely love these stamps. So, top one, you've got a five inch, just over a five inch square. So if you like six by six or seven by seven, this is perfect. But you've also got two regular stamps and it's these that I'm going to use tonight. And these are your normal open stamps so you can colour them in. So I'll quickly run through the themes because they're all the same format. So this is the rose medley. You can see here we've got that big rose, you've got the foliage, text in there and all sorts. So that's the rose which I am using tonight so I'll leave it there. Thanks Ilona. <clears throat> then we've got the daisy. So again with the big daisy and then with the smaller daisies. I'll tell you how big the small ones are as well. Because you can actually get four of these on a 6 by 6 card. So these little small stamps are two and a half inches square. So just over five, just over five, just over two and a half inches. So you can get four of these on a square card as well. So that is your daisy. You've then got the butterfly. So the butterfly medley. Same format, large square, two small squares. Then you've got, this is where it changes. So we've got the pretty, pretty, and now we're going into the more funky. So you've got here Lady Victoria, and I'm just gonna show you, cause I love this stamp. Love this stamp so much. Look at that. The detail in these stamps is incredible. I loved them when I did them. And then you've got the Vintage Squire. So the Vintage Squire is obviously perfect for your masculine makes. So the Vintage Squire, large one with the penny farthing, the steampunky fella with the tash beard, and then the two smaller ones. And then the last one is the Explorer Medley. And I'm gonna be demoing the Explorer Medley on my TV shows. So you've got the balloons there on the big one and then you've got smaller ones that are open on the smaller ones. So, half price. These these usually are £14.99 each. If you buy them individually, they are still £14.99 each. If you buy them as the bundle of six, I'm just going to tell you what the price exactly is. When I can find it. Yeah, so... For all six, I can't believe I'm saying this, I never do this. It's just because we need space in the warehouse, I'll be honest with you. 44.97 for all six, instead of 90 quid. Now if that's not a bargain, I don't know what is. And I'm gonna pop the link in for you, because I can do that, apparently. Oh, somebody's done it for me. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let me take that 
take that off. So I'm going to show you how to use these in a different way. If you go on the Sentimentally Yours Facebook page, you will see already <coughs> our cameras in Tenerife watching us. You should be on holiday. Are you having a good time? Yeah. So, um, it's your last night as well. I thought about you earlier. And all the to-do things I'm giving you when you get by. Hi, Rose. So we're going to use the uh, Rose Medley this evening. And I think as a collection of stamps, because you've got three that are very pretty and three that are a little bit more mixed media. Sorry, Vicky. It's, it's, the best, it's just the best price you're ever going to see them. Tendonitis in your elbow. That must be painful. Yeah, get back in the bar, Karen Dye says. <laughs> and she's right. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how you can take these stamps and make a stunning, clean and simple-ish card, yeah? And I'm I'm going to show you two different, three different ways. I'm going to show you how to use them one way tonight, and then they are on my shows on TV on Thursday and Friday, and I've prepped two demos with these today that show you two more different ways of how to use them, yeah? You're going to love these stamps, and I hate it because I do stamps so often, we quite often forget what we've already got. Um, and and I like to come back to ones that, that we've done in the past. It just gives you all ideas as well. But once they're gone, they're gone. We've not got loads of stock. Did you just say little little six by six cars? <laughs> yeah, I did hope. <laughs> little six by six cars. Yeah, bless you. So this is a 7x7. Seven seven. So I'm going to show you what I've got on here. I might have just told you a lie. It might be bigger than a 7 but Oh, it's in, yeah, it's just, it's just over 7x7. Seven seven. It's just over 7x7. Seven seven. Yeah, Audrey's just saying she loves the balloon one. Yeah, it's fabulous. It's fabulous for your masculine cards as well. So we've got the card base. I've got another layer just of plain white cardstock, which is um, a quarter of an inch smaller. Then I've got a square cut with my deboss stitch square dies, look. And I like to do that on the top layer just so we've got some interest. And then I've got all my bits for my sentiments. I've got the honeycomb die. This is the texture honeycomb. And that's just going to get tucked underneath my swirl and a shabby butterfly and this is what I've got ready for the stamped image so we're going to use this as a background and we're going to use the smaller one as the main focal image so just to give you a little tip oh, oh, oh. let me just give you a little tip so all of my large square dies, so all of my um, big square dies have have the perfect sizes for these stamps. I've got no fingernails. Oh, is that the wrong one? Let's find out. Yeah, it is. It's this one. <clears throat> so this one, look, is the perfect size to stamp that into with a little white border. And this one, oops, I'm too close to the screen, sorry everybody. This one is the perfect size to stamp the big stamp in with a little white border. And all of my square dies are the same size. So doesn't matter which set you've got. Right, let's get cracking, let's get, this show on the road. So Clean and Simple by Phil Martin, part 23. I'm going to change that. I'm changing that because it's got wrinkled. Shocking. It's got wrinkled just like me. <laughs> Just like me. So 
So we're going to take our square and I've purposefully chosen a bigger square look. So one of the things, um, one of the things that's really a, a top tip, if you like, uh, a top tip when you're doing clean and simple is to leave plenty of white space or cream space or whatever colour, whatever colour, I know Sally Ann, I, I feel your pain, whatever colour your card layers are, empty space keeps it looking simple and clean. So we're going to stamp this straight in the center. I don't know which one to use. They're both beautiful. I'll do this one. So we're gonna stamp this one straight in the center there. So I would probably I would probably <laughs> I would probably die cut this after I've stamped it because if you're not banging the center you'll be able to tell but it won't matter and I am going to watercolor this rose so I'm using my morning mist Versifying Claire. I'm not going to I'm not going to uh, heat emboss it. I'm just gonna leave it long enough to dry. Cause sometimes I love I love the heat heat embossing. Um I love the heat embossing, but I'm not gonna do that tonight. <laughs> I'll have none left for the shows, I know. I know, die, but they are two years old. And we're, I've got to make room in the warehouse. There's no if, buts, or maybes. I mean, Bev's, Bev's seen how big my warehouse is in Sheffield and we're running out of space. We've only been in that shop a few years. It's not going to be big enough soon. Right, so I'm stamping with Morning Mist because it's a lovely, it's a lovely shade of grey. And straight away... It's a soft image. I'm doing this on my platform in case I need to go back in a second time. So going back to earlier when, I'm sorry, I can't remember who it was, was asking me the difference in the shades of color between morning mist and hickory smoke. The main reason I've used the morning mist is because I'm going to watercolour it. I mean, that is just beautiful. Look at that. And you know what? I think I've got it in the centre, which is quite remarkable. <laughs> Look at that. That's just beautiful. <laughs> Liz has just said if you want to discount your double stitch deboss dies please to make room feel free <laughs> they're too new Liz unfortunately <laughs> we do if I well anybody that knows me will know this we very rarely have stock left very rarely do we have stock left. Um, the stock that I've got of these is not a lot, which is why I'm trying to get rid, just to make room. So we've got the, um, we've got that just sitting there, look. And I'm gonna leave that to dry. So although I'm gonna, although it is a, it's a pigment ink and it's not water soluble, so it doesn't react to water, but I'm gonna leave that to dry perfectly. And then on this card, I've got two little borders. So this is just, um, these are just scraps from, from the matting and layering when I was doing the cutting. So literally just scraps. And I've got the little embossing folder here that comes with the compendium, with the fauna. And this one is plain. And you, 
this is a really good way to use the larger stamps. So if you don't want to use it as a whole, use it as a background stamp. Yeah, use it as a background stamp, which is what I'm going to do on here. And I already know, look, that we're only going to see that little section and that little section. So I'm going to stamp the top and bottom of this border with the largest stamp. And I'm not going to bother with my stamping platform for this. I'm going to leave it on the acetate. So I'm leaving the big stamp on the acetate. And the only reason I'm doing it this way is because it's just literally background texture. It doesn't matter if it's not perfect, yeah? And I'm gonna stamp it again with the uh, morning mist. So if you look at this stamp, I can choose which area I want. So I might try and get that bit of foliage in the bottom and I might just get the text at the top. Let's do that. Let's do that. I love stamps that I've got lots of different sections in. And that's what you've got with these. So I'm gonna do this bit of text at the top. If you're not brave enough to stamp just on the acetate, uh, just pop it on an acrylic block or do it in your stamping platform if it makes you feel safer. So I'm literally look, just trying to get this bit of text. Oh, that is... Oh, look at that. I mean, I've been... I've been a stamper for as long as I can remember and I love stamps that just keep on giving and because this is why I'm doing this one tonight because I do such a lot of stamps we forget what we've already got in our stash so now I'm going to do the bottom half of that and try and get that foliage and a little bit of the text in Hopefully I inked the right side. I did. <laughs> so we've now created a background that completely coordinates this, this top a lot. How fabulous is that? And how easy was that to do? It's, oh, I, this, I love things like this. Love it, love it, love it. Do, do, do. Right. Let's clean my stamp. That's the other good thing about the VersaFine Clairs. They do wipe off your stamps quite well. I'm going to pop that to one side to dry before I put the acetate back on. Hey, we're cooking on gas. It's, uh, it's early. Right, so while we're waiting, while we're waiting, let me just bring that back in. I'm going to just run the uh, brayer over the embossed areas, or I am if I can find my brayer. And of course my brayer is on the other desk. I think somebody's just tried to phone me. Came up on my iPad. How rude. Everybody should know that I'm busy on a Monday night. Yeah, Trace is amazing, Hope. I know Tracy really, really well. In fact, Tracy and I have similar, similar styles. Trace is a little bit more mixed media than I am, but I love, I love Trace's stamps. Yeah, I know I do, Joan, as well. Imagine what it's like for me. <laughs> right, so we're just going to brayer this, and I'm going to do it two-tone this time. 
and I'm just going to show you the pinks because we're going to have a pink rose tonight. We're going to have a pink rose. So I'm going to show you the colours and we're going to use my... Actually, we could just do it the same. I was going to use the... Um, I was going to use the pens. But you know what? I think I'll do it with the oxides. Because we've only got about four sets of set one left. So I'm going to do it with Kitsch Flamingo, which is a bit stronger. I'll just show you. So Spun Sugar is a beautiful, beautiful baby pink, not dissimilar to my shirt. But Kitsch Flamingo is a little bit stronger, so it's good for doing this kind of thing. I use... I use these. I don't use baby wipes. Yeah. Don't use baby wipes. Uh, and these are... These are... Well... These are just water and fruit extract. They're not biodegradable, I don't think, but I know they are the most. I know they are the best ones. And I'll give you a little tip. All these dirty ones, look, where I've cleaned up, I wouldn't do this. You know me well enough to know. You know me well enough. Julie, if you've not got the pens, you need to get set one pretty sharpish. We've only got four left, I think. Uh, you can save all these and die cut them. I wouldn't do it, but Leone would or Julia. <laughs> <clears throat> and they're good for cleaning your glasses when they dried out as well. So I'm going to use the Kitsch Flamingo. And we are only going to see the edges of this look. The very edges. So I'm going to do Kitsch Flamingo first. Oh, do you know? <laughs> are you ready for a laugh, everybody? Are you ready for? <laughs> are you ready for a laugh? <laughs> so I was just rolling my brayer. Can you hear it? It's not moving. And I'm like, well, what's wrong with my brayer? I only used it this morning. It's got, it's got, it's got tape on it. <laughs> Why have I, I don't even use sellotape. So, oh, I wonder if it's come off some packaging. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Oh, and now we're moving. Oh dear. Right, so now we, we, we're moving. So as ever, when you're doing two colours of Brea, do your lightest colour first. And although this is a lovely, rich pink, it is lighter than the hickory smoke. So don't put pressure on. So for anybody that hasn't seen me do this before, we're getting this lovely shabby vintage look. But your instinct is to press with the brayer. And I don't. I just put the brayer on. Oops. Put the brayer on the kitchen roll and just roll it on. Don't press down. Just let the roller do its work. I've, do you know what, Grace? I've got no idea how a bit of sellotape got on my uh, brayer. Unless it, I have been testing some new dyes, so it could have been from the packaging. <laughs> so I'm cleaning that ink off before I go in with the hickory smoke. Oops, ow, sorry, I've just banged my desk with my knee. It's like a carry-on film. It's like, a, it's like carry on crafting. Oh, I should do a film. So Dawn is asking me on YouTube what the difference between a hard and a soft brayer is. Right, so Dawn, I, I never, ever, ever, ever use my speedball brayers because I don't do what Barb does. So if you're doing, if you're doing lovely soft blendy techniques like Barb does, <clears throat> you need a speedball brayer. But because I tend to use my brayers for the jelly plates or 
over embossing folders because over embossing folders is what I really like to do. It needs to be the hard red rubber so that you don't get it going where you don't want it. Always the hard red rubber. So the hickory smoke is a bit stronger, so I'm literally just going to do a few little bits. Just so we've got two colours going on. And that'll do. That will do. So I've just got little bits of the grey, little bit of the pink. Here we go. So I'm cleaning this because I don't want it to dry on. I'm still using the same wipe. Right, we're doing really, really well. So I'm leaving the back plain white. So these layers are gonna be stuck on foam tape when I get to it. I'm not ready for that yet. So let's come back now to our lovely little image that should have dried. That's lucky it has because I've just run my finger all over it. So hi to everybody who's watching, whether you're carry on glittering, yeah. Carry on diamond dazzling. <laughs> there you go. Snap. <laughs> uh, yeah, not dirty dancing, dirty crafty. <laughs> So we're going to take this lovely, this lovely stamp. Now remember, this is a clean and simple card. Yeah, carry on faffing. Oh, I love that. And I'm going to colour in some elements from this. Now, um, shall I do it or shall I not? I'm not. I was going to show you how to make that pearlescent. But if you've seen me before, you will know how to do it. If you haven't seen me before, I'm going to tell you. If I can find some space. Oh, oh look at that. Oh, looks like one of my lids was undone. That's going to be a mess to clean. Oh, it's there, look. Right, so let me just find the lunar pearl. Here it is. It's a good job I've got four sets of them. So I'm not doing this tonight. But I am just going to show you. I'm just going to tell you how to do it. So, if you want to make any of your Distress Oxide inks pearlescent to paint with, well, good idea, so. Hi, Anne, not to worry. If you want to make any of your Distress Oxides a pearlescent watercolour paint to colour with, you need the Lunar Pearl. You need the Lunar Pearl Radiant Lustre Pigment Powder. I'm not going to do that tonight. We are literally going to paint this as it is. So water brush, you can tell that this is the one I use all the time because it's bogging. It's, well, Lunar Pearl is an essential, as is the silver. What is the matte call that you use at the bottom of the tray? What is the matte call that you use at the bottom to protect the surface? The brown one, Laura, do you mean the brown one? <clears throat> or do you mean my, my grey cover thing here? Yeah, absolutely, you can, Teresa. Teresa's just asking me if you can paint with them. With, they're not actually mica powders. These are um, mica pigment powders so they're, they're actually better than just plain mica the colors are stronger because they've got pigment in them so we're going to color this lovely little rose and i only need a little bit of ink a 
and this is why I've put a this is why I've put a pink shirt on for you because I knew I was doing pink tonight. I'll just get a bit of scrap. Do, 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 do. That was my chair. Just get a little scrap just so I can test the colour. Perfect. So I'm literally just going to use my water brush and colour in this rose. So I'm just highlighting a couple of elements from this stamp. And although this is a lovely soft pink, because I've watered it down, it actually pops. I'll bring it in and show you a close up in a minute. It actually pops really well off the page because it's the only bit of colour. And you can see how technical this is at colouring in. I'm going to colour a couple of the little elements in. It's so easy to do this. I'm just going to show you the rose before I start adding. Pink won't show on your shirt. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <coughs> Oh, Janice, can't comment on YouTube. I don't know why it does that, Janice. Janice, have you, have you signed into your YouTube account? I think that's what some people struggle with. You, you just need to be signed in. So I'm just going to go in and just do some, just a few darker bits. Just to give it a bit of depth. But now I've done it, I'll do it darker on this side. And you can see how much how much ink is left there. Sorry, you know I'll go quiet while I'm colouring in. Put the kettle on somebody. And now because I've... I'm going to leave that now. <laughs> stop, Phil. Stop. <clears throat> Because I've got that excess ink on there, look. Hi, Phil, I've tried that and it won't accept your fingerprint. Oh, Janice, I don't, I can't help you, darling, I don't know. Are you, is, it, is it on your tablet, Janice? Uh, so because I've got this ink left over there, we're going to use it on this shabby butterfly. So rather than waste it, let's have it on that butterfly. Uh, drink, Phil. Thanks, Di. Yeah, pink and grey always look lovely together. Patricia's saying she has trouble as well. I, only, I, I can't help you, I don't know. 
I think as long as you're signed into your YouTube account, uh, you should be able to um, you should be able to comment. <laughs> That's hilarious, we're selling here. Uh, right, let's get cracking. So because I've used the, the inks rather than my pens, I just need to get a green. So I'm just looking for bundled sage. Because I was going to use the pens to, um, I was going to use the pens and because I haven't, I need to get a green ink pad now. So I've just got to colour the leaves there. It's a classic combination. Pink, pink and grey is a classic combo. And bundled sage is the most beautiful green ever. It's very soft. I might have made that too soft. That's better. So I'm just colouring a few of these little elements in that are part of the stamp. It makes it look fuller. I think that might be enough. I'll do this one. And I'll just bring that in and show you a lot. How lovely is that? So easy to do. Oops. <coughs> and then we'll do a two-tone on the on the butterfly. So waste not one not. We'll do a two tone. That will do. We'll leave that there to dry. So even if I'm doing clean and simple, it's not quick. <laughs> Clean and simple doesn't necessarily mean quick and crap. <laughs> right, so we're not doing any um, we're not doing any splatting or anything on this stamp. Where's that border gone? Where is my grey border? Oh, it is. So now we're going to start putting this together. I'm leaving this background white, but you can see how easy it would be if you wanted to, to just go in and paint some of these elements to match the foreground. But I'm leaving that because what it does is it, it, focus, it draws your attention to the front, yeah? So it draws your attention to the main focal point of this card, which is that lovely little topper. So let's get this stuck on, and I'm gonna do this with glue gel. So because I'm going onto an embossed piece of card, I'm doing it with glue gel rather than foam tape. Yeah, shabby butterflies, Ilona's shouting at me. So I'm not putting loads on. I'm not looking for height. This is another top tip. Oops, another top tip. with embossing folders and matting and layering. So if you use glue gel, so these little bits here are going to be pushed into the card. So it's not necessarily raised, it's just sitting above the embossing folder. 
There you are, look. So that glue gel now has gone into the gaps in between. Lovely jubbly. So you know what's coming next, everybody. Time to mash yourself a cup of tea. Oh, well, not quite so. Not quite so. <laughs> oh, thank you, Liz. So all of these layers are going on foam tape. And you will see this card on the set on my shows on Thursday and Friday because I'm going to show you how to do similar but different using the Explorer stamp. So you can you can change these so easily just by changing the stamp. And you know what it's like. We all struggle to make cars for for men masculine cards and the vintage squire is one of my favorite favorite stamps for men's cards because it suits every age group so this is going on foam tape sorry i'm whizzing through this i know still haven't used glue gel oh i can't craft without it it's a must have for me Pin flare glue gel is a must have for me. I should have shares in pin flare. So I'm standing up to do my matting in layering just because I find it easier. And this is the tiniest of borders. That's another little tip for you, everybody. Ignoring the muck on that card. Luckily, it's going to be covered up. So when you're doing when you're doing clean and simple ish cards um, small borders are actually really nice look so I've got a small border underneath that and then it's a, a bigger border and that's going on foam tape as well a man of many layers I am <laughs> It's, it's kind of my thing. I like um, I like dimension, and for me, I struggle to do cards without matting and layering. It's a quirk. It all dropped. I don't know whether you all heard me when I gave you a tip a few weeks ago. When I do my matting and layering, it's, it's to draw your eye to the front of the card. Not so much us, because we know what we're doing as crafters. It's for the people who we send the cards to. So people who we send cards to might not notice the layers and everything on our cards. But what they will notice is the focal points. And all these layers do is they just stick, they get smaller and smaller and they draw your eye into the middle. Uh, um, well, actually, I've got my, do you know what, Natalie? I've got, oops. Oh, 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 oh. oh I can't find it. Well, I have just found something else I was looking for. <laughs> Natalie's just saying why I don't I do my own matte medium. Uh, but you can actually use the texture medium as a as a heavy body gel. Uh, I just don't um, I, I just don't want to waste it. I'd rather use the glue gel. I'd rather use that for for, for my stencils and everything. And he's all I like your techniques. Hope I can do cars like you. Of course you can. Watch the videos. This is why I like to do my YouTube videos and I'm trying to do some, I'm trying to do more in between, in between the lives. Uh, so I'm trying to do more videos for YouTube in between the live every week. So you've got lots of different things. And I did, I did have an idea earlier when I was having, what was I having? Oh, digestives, coffee and digestives as you do about a series of videos I could do that might help you with 
colours with colour coordinating and things like that because I, I find matching colours quite easy but I know not everybody does so I'm going to do this where's that dirty bit here it is I'm going to put the dirty bit to the top Phil would leave the country why would I leave the country hi Pam is making sure they still fit in an envelope. Yeah, well, this one would do. I'm not very good at envelopes, as you know. Uh, most of my cards would need a box. That was my chair, just reiterating. So now that's, so this is the card starting to come together, look. I'm gonna pop this on with glue gel as well. I'm not raising it, I'm going to push it down. Colours would be useful, Hazel's saying. What's the reason for adding glue onto the foam tape? Sorry, it's, no, it's not a daft question at all, Laura. If you don't know, it's never, there's never a daft question to ask me. So the reason I put glue on the foam tape is because it gives you a little bit of wiggle room. If you've ever tried to put foam tape straight on, and you put it in the wrong position, you'd never be able to get it off. Uh, you'd never be able to get it off. Whereas, because I've done it with glue, look, I can still I can still peel it off a little bit, look. So if I needed to move it, it gives you a little bit longer. We call it wiggle time. So this little border I've got here is going to go straight down the middle. And I cut it. Let me just get this straight. Oops. I cut that. just shorter than that layer because I wanted to still see the stitching at the bottom is that central just bear with me it is just found a colour combo I'm liking now Chianti Fallen Leaves and Shady Lane yeah gorgeous how she says that makes sense so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go around the edge of this and glitter it. And I'm going around the edge of the stitched layer. Not the one underneath. And yes, it's covering the stitches up. But you do still see them once the glue is dried. Remember the glue dries transparent. The diamond dazzle glitter that we're going to put on is transparent. And we're going to do the edge. And the edge. I've gone all the way down, which I didn't need to, but hey ho. some reason I've got two scratches in my card I don't know where that's come from I must have sat something on it so I might do this in reverse right oops nobody warned me oh I've just flicked the glitter on myself, so remember that, remember that program, Golden Balls. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I do sell my own brand of glue. This pot, I've, you can tell by the label, I've been using this pot for about three years. I just keep topping it up with the bigger parts. 
right, so... <laughs> so that's where we're at. <laughs> Still don't have Diamond Dazzle, but I did find some pink shimmer glitter, which... Which, it, yeah, it was in the compendium. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, Janice. <laughs> what do you do with all the cards that you made? Most of them get displayed in the shop, Emma. I thought it would be, Teresa. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> that's it, Karen. I didn't want to say it, but there you go. Right, so I'm going to put that to one side just while we get on with the topper now. So I'm doing nothing to these apart from glitter. So foam tape and foam tape. We've got a little sentiment to put on here as well. So we are going to stamp a, a sentiment in a second. Hey, it's only 10 past eight, we're doing really well. Thanks, Bev. Margaret. <laughs> what you need to keep an eye out. <laughs> what you need to keep an eye out for is um, is when we do the twenty percent off weekends and that. That's when to get your expensive dies. Maureen's just ordered her Diamond Dazzle. I go through it like nobody's business. Don't think I'll find a shop. <laughs> now, is this not what crafting is all about? Crafting, having a giggle, and making a pretty card as well. Is that central? It is. So now look, this this that looks a little bit, it is a dazzling shirt. It's very sparkly in here, that's all I can say. Bev's on it. Don't forget as well, I keep forgetting, keep forgetting to tell you. Giveaways at the end. I'm just having a drink of my cold coffee. Right, so at this stage, look, because obviously it's messy in the middle. Watch how it changes when I put this little topper on. Ah, oh, that's just so pretty. So pretty. So this is gonna go on with glue gel, but I want to just glitter around the, um, around the topper first. And you, Laura's got a first craft fair. Do you know what, Laura? If you're doing a, if you're doing a craft fair, mind you, my my biggest tip would be, don't make your cards too complicated. And I always, me and Leonie always have this discussion, because I think most people will agree with me that we make cards for ourselves. Most people that we send cards to don't appreciate how much work has been done. You've been, been a welcome distraction tonight, waiting for... Oh, bless. Oh, well, I'm glad I could help, Linda. Class in glass, yeah. Class in a glass. Yeah, so don't make your cards too complicated is my biggest tip. So I'm just going around the edge of the... the uh, square with the stamped image in. I'm not going to glitter the one in between. And I'm glittering this before I put it on. I'm, I'm not glittering the other layer because I want that separation. I want the separation between the, there's lots of sparkle going on. So I want a gap between it. Do 
any first craft fair. Oh well, good luck everybody do any craft. Carol Sparks, never, I often watch but never make any cars. Is that you, Carol? How are you, darling? I need to come and have a coffee, don't I? We need a catch-up. It's been forever. In fact, text me in the morning if it is you, Carol. I've still got the same number and I'll come and have a coffee with you. Not this week, but maybe next week. What am I looking for, glue gel? Uh, right, come on Phil. Right, so another little tip for everybody who's new to watching. So anybody who's new to watching me, um, I'm going to give you another little tip. Everybody else will know. Are you doing one as well, Helen? Ah, oh, well, good luck everybody doing your craft shows. I hope you make lots of money to buy the next Christmas stuff at the end of June. <laughs> So because we've got this because we've got this embossed piece and this stamped piece here in the middle it's higher than that part of the card so if you were doing that with foam tape you would need too too high it would need to be too high so i'm doing this with glue gel but the diamond dazzling use it all the time yeah absolutely it does yeah it would be nice to have a catch up right text me text me then either later tonight or in the morning and I'll come and have, we'll go and have a coffee and catch up right so glue gel so it's higher at the size a little bit in the middle and they can now go in the middle as soon as you put this square in the middle, it separates everything. Oh, that's just so pretty. Look how lovely that looks already. Right, so pop that to one side and let that set for a second. And while we're waiting, we're going to do the sentiment. So I've got two little bits of card here from my... Look at the butterfly now, look, with a bit of sage at the bottom. Isn't that lovely? I've got two little bits of card here from my... Do you know what, Laura? Don't, don't be sorry for asking questions. I would much rather you ask. How long does it take the glue gel to dry? Um... Depends how thick you put it on, so it's always best to leave it overnight. But you can definitely move your cars around after about an hour or so. So we're going to use the little little sentiment stamps again. I'm loving these at the minute. Yeah, it's definitely wise to leave it overnight. I'm loving these at the minute, these teeny tiny sentiments. And that's what I'm going to do on here. So what did I use on that card? That was have a great day, so let's have something different. Let's have let's have a longer one so I can break up. Oh look at that. Oh that's marvellous. I didn't plan that, but it's actually the perfect size. So I'm gonna use Happy Birthday to you. Diamond Dazzle for me, yeah, absolutely. What's the best thing to use for these stamps, please? Without a shadow of a doubt, Hazel, without a shadow of a doubt, the best ink for these stamps is the Versafine Clairs. You'll get the sharpest impressions. In fact, I'm going to show you one at the end. Oh, bless you, Natalie. All I said was I've got the texture medium so that you could use that. Uh, but I... I I'd rather save my texture medium. It's the same as a heavy body gel. So you could use the texture medium. Particularly if you don't like the smell, because the glue gel does dry with a bit of a smell. Even though it says it's odourless. So we're going, happy birthday to you. And I'm going to stamp it in the morning mist.
I think that's been well inked. Happy birthday to you. Oh, that is just so lovely. Look at that. Isn't that just so lovely? I'll be ordering that as well. <laughs> Bless you. I'm going to buy that. Yeah. I was going to buy that at Lincoln yesterday. Buy what, Emma? Uh, I, pr uh, if, I know you've probably asked me loads of questions and I will have a look at them all later. Oh, what's that? There we go. Just having a chocolate ice while watching as a tree. I don't blame you, Kathleen. Don't sell your cars. Many friends... Yeah, that's... That's kind of how I got started. But I used to sell my cars through the post office. Our local post office used to sell mine for me. And just take a... And just take a cut. Well, then, of course, I just got too busy. Where's the guys here? I don't sell my cars. Now, I haven't done for years. Oh, did you go to the craft show? Yeah. We couldn't do it. Um, we might do uh, that next time. Exquisite font and little stamp. It is, it's a beautiful little font and I like dainty little sentiments at the minute. So I'm going to go around the edge with the Kitsch Flamingo. Actually, I might not. No, I am. Do I need to snip it? Yeah, I'm going to snip it a bit. And let's hope it's straight. Straight is a bit boring, but there you go. So I'm going to go around the edge with the Kitsch Flamingo just so I've got a bit of pink in. Plenty of ink pads. I would first like clear money, Mr. Pack on some fly something. You shouldn't be ordering from eBay, Liz. You should be ordering from us or Julia. Oh my God, I remember that. Selling cars at the post office, that's right, Carol. <laughs> it, well, it's years ago. It's years and years ago. Right, so I'm just gonna mat that onto there just to give it a white edge. Please, can I have a cutting from your money tree? <laughs> Hi, Aisha. So don't forget everybody, if you've joined us late, <laughs> if you've joined us late, you can, you'll be able to watch the video back later when it's finished. And I'm going to glitter around that in a second. So we are nearly done. We're doing really well. When I say we, I mean me, obviously. And I've just got ink on that which I'm mad about but there you go so I'm just going to glitter around this sentiment so the versifying clairs do dry pretty quickly but just make sure they are fully dry before you do what I'm doing just in case you smudge it I do this all the time. Smudge my sentiments because I've not been patient enough. Oh, that's lovely. The glitter on that bit of pink looks lovely. Put that there. Did you, Rose? I never knew that. Have you got your Christmas in June stuff sorted yet? Yep, I absolutely have. 
So my Christmas shows are on the 25th of June, just so you know. So you've got ages to save up, yeah. <laughs> right, we're getting there, everybody. So the only embellishments I'm putting on this card, which will be a shock to you all, is the splend one of the splendid swirls, and I've not decided which way I'm going yet, and a little bit of the honeycomb textured eye, and the butterfly, that's it. So I'm just going to shape this butterfly if I can find my tweezers. And we'll glitter around the wings. Look how lovely that looks. With a little bit of sage in there. How much would everyone look to sell this standard of card at? Hiya Diane, not to worry. I think that's the problem with selling your own cars. You never... Oh, sorry, Trees. <laughs> I think that's the problem. We all struggle with how much to charge for our own cars. And we all, we all criticise our own work. Um, and this is why I said, if you're doing craft fairs, most people, or fairs to sell your cards, most people that are going are not crafters. So they just don't understand how much work has gone into the cards that you make. So I tend to keep, I mean, I don't sell my cards anymore, but I tend, I would tend to keep your cards simple. Or something you can do en masse. Oops. Something you can do a lot of quickly is the way to go. So here we go, let's start the assembly. Yeah, they've got no idea, Bev. Crafting's not a cheap hobby. Uh, and that's why I say we... Carolla, there'll be a sneaky peek on the Monday night. So the Monday before the 25th, there will be a sneaky peek. I'm not doing Christmas sneaky peeks until that week. <laughs> yeah, same, same here, Jean. People all people at those places want something for nothing. Yeah, they all want them. It's because they've got no idea. Right, so my little sentiment is going on. And you know that's going on with glue gel. When I find my cocktail stick. Here it is. Actually, I think I'll put my flourish on first. Let me just see how much I need to snip off. Oops. I love these swirls. I'm not going to glitter this swirl either. I'm just going to shape it a little bit. I'm not putting any glitter on that. I'm just going to shape it and pop it there. And just... just to be awkward, I'm using white glue for this. <laughs> Don't put your finger in that, Phil. So I'm going to pop that on there. And then I'm just going to stick the edge down. I'm going to use a... I'm going to use a bit of glue gel for that. I don't normally, but it's catching onto the glitter. Right, here we go. It's all in the details and we, we as crafters, are better than the shop, the car, the cars you buy in the shops. This is why we all do it. But regular customers won't know that. So I've got one last job to do. We're two last jobs to do. Not pink glue. Pink glue. I think it's amazing how Les can instantly add that wow factor. Yeah, absolutely, Laura. Les are what do it. 
you remember what I said to you at the beginning that we've only got I've literally only got two you know, well one two three four but two matte and layers on here and it draws your eyes straight up so now the butterfly is going on no it's not now the honeycomb is going on so remember the honeycomb texture dye yeah so the honeycomb texture dye I'm just tearing that and I want it scraggy at the ends like this yeah that'll do and I'm just going to tuck it under there that's too big Yeah, that'll do nicely. Let me just check. I'm just pausing for a second because I know I want that there. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. So all I did there, just so you know what I was doing, I was just checking where to put the glue gel so the butterfly covers it up. Clean and simple, but really rather fabulous. Anybody can do this card that I've done tonight. I've just squashed the butterfly. Sorry, butterfly. Right, so those of you that know me know what's coming next. You know what's coming next? Random gems. Random gems. I have to have random gems. They won't be going on this side. They'll just be scattered around the, fl the flourish. Right, so uh, let me just show you what I've got here. So these are the two colours of gems that I chose before we started, before we started the demo. So I've got forest green, which is now the wrong green, because that's a lovely deep green, and the sugar pink. And sugar pink is now the wrong pink. No, oh, actually, no, it's not. So we're going to have a combination of sugar pink and ice diamond. So the random gems, just so you know what I'm doing, I'm not doing the traditional thing. So the traditional thing that we all used to do forever in a day is the corners. But I'm now into this, very much into this random. It's just a little finishing touch detail. Apologies, everybody. I just need to glitter this glue gel. Can you see that little bit of glue gel there? That tiny little bit right next to my fingernail is bugging me. That's better. It now just looks like Diamond Dazzle. I like to glitter the glue gel, as you know. just in case it's seen. So here we go, random gems. So I think we'll have, I think we'll have five. So one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Sheila, what have I missed? <laughs> I must have missed something. 
Oops. So that's my three pink ones. And then just a couple of ice diamond ones. Another one, sorry everybody. And there we are, clean and simple ish. Oops, I'll bring it in and show you a close up when I find the lid for my glue. So clean and simple-ish. Clean and simple doesn't necessarily mean quick and crap. And I think that looks really lovely. And who would have thought you were getting very good at non-symmetrical? Yeah, yeah I, I guess it's kind of what mood I'm in. Who would have thought though that that card? So I mean, let's be honest. If you were if you were studying my shop looking at these stamps, if you were studying my shop looking at these stamps, this set of stamps, would you think it made a card like that? Because I wouldn't. I I wouldn't I wouldn't think that I could do something delicate and pretty like that. I remember, we used the solid negative one to create that coordinating background there and you only see a bit of it but how fabulous and I'm just going to show you let me see if I can find my look these are my demos ready for telly <laughs> I'm just going to show you the um, before we choose the winners let me just show you this so the explorer stamp so this one, you look at that and you think, oh, crikey, that's really heavy. I don't know whether I would use that, but look how it looks in brown. How stunning is that? That's all I'm showing you. You can see the rest on my shows. Isn't that lovely? Right, so let's choose, uh, let's just do the recap. So let me just do a recap for you. And then we'll get on to choosing the winners. So what I think we're gonna do for the winner tonight, um, it is a gorgeous stamp. I love these stamps. I absolutely love square. I like square cards. So if you like square cards, you know you're onto a winner with square stamps. You just can't do it wrong, can you? Uh, and it's very pretty, very delicate, and it can be absolutely anything you want it to be. And I think that's the whole point. Uh, if you emboss the big square, then crack the emboss. Yeah, absolutely, Sally Ann, yeah. Gorgeous technique. Right, so I'll do a quick recap for you. So remember, the full set of these because there are six. The full set is half price. Half price. £45 instead of 90 45 quid instead of 90 for all six until the stock is gone. And if the stock hasn't gone, on Friday, Friday afternoon, they'll be back to full price. So now is the time to get these if you haven't already got them. So the rose is the one that I've used this evening. So I've used the rose medley. We've then got the explorer medley, which is the one that I've just shown you. Great for your masculine cards. 
You've got the Vintage Squire, which I absolutely love. I might use this one on my shows on Thursday or Friday. Another one that's great for your masculine cars. And I'll give you a little tip, everybody. It doesn't matter what age group you use this for. Because that is very trendy, again. You've then got the Lady Victoria. So let me just show you these two side by side. So you can see I've got her facing right and him facing left. So if you know anybody who's into steampunk, that kind of thing, you could do um, you could do a themed card for them. Look how beautiful that stamp is. So that's Lady Victoria. You've then got the Butterfly Medley. And then last but not least, you've got the Daisy Medley. And they're all the same theme. They're all just over five inches by two and, and two and a half inch squares. So you can use them on your uh, six by six cards. <coughs> right, so I think, um, I think what we'll do is for the winner, because I'm going to try and do it a little bit different. Uh, mm, I know what we'll do. We'll do the rose medley and we'll do the embossing folder. How about that? So the rose medley stamp and the embossing folder that I've used on there. That's a nice little prize, isn't it, for nothing? Yeah, steampunk wedding card, it would be awesome. Uh, Doreen could see some, if not most of these, in ombre colours. Absolutely, Doreen. These stamps, particularly the large ones, would be awesome in ombre. Just shade, shading down. Um, awesome. Why do my husband's care has always arrived? My filly's just finished. Oh, bless you. Uh, right, so let's choose our two winners. So let's go over to uh, YouTube. So, uh, uh, hang on, I'm just going to do this first. I always forget to do this. So, quick reminder. So, I'm back on Crate and Craft on Thursday and Friday. So, I'm doing the, I'm doing the one-day special hours. So, 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. on Thursday. And then Friday at 10 a.m. It's not a new release. I'm not doing a new release now until Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what, Lozzy? I've just done that with the balloons. <laughs> so it's not a new release, but what it is is three very special prize bundles that you, you can't really miss out because once they're gone, they're gone. So everything that I've used tonight, assuming it's in stock, is on the website. There you go, honeypotcross.co.uk. Please... If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm building it up slowly but surely and there's going to be more and more on there than there is on Facebook because some videos are just for YouTube and if you haven't yet, please do, um, please do follow my Sentimentally Yours page. In fact, I'll do all that in a second. So... Facebook, Sentimentally Yours. Like and follow if you can, please. And then my personal Facebook page is Phil Crafty Martin. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> Phil Crafty Martin. <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> and then if you are on Twitter, give me a follow on Twitter, which is Phil M. Martin which is two L's, remember. My Instagram is the same, Phil M. Martin. And I've now just started in the fabulous world of the very addictive TikTok. And I am Phil M. Martin on TikTok as well. So I think I've covered everything except for our lovely Facebook group. And Facebook groupers, this Friday we are back to the Freebie Fridays. Back to Freebie Friday on this Friday, starting again this Friday. So you can search for my Facebook group, just search for Crafting with Phil Martin and Sentimentally Yours and ask to join the group. 
I have just kicked a few people out. <laughs> so we need some new members joining us. Just make sure you are proper crafters. <laughs> right, so let's go on with the winner. So over to YouTube. So whoever wins on YouTube, please send one, uh, please send me an inbox message on the Sentimentally Yours Facebook page with your name and address and just a quick reminder of what you've won. So I'm going to do the Rose the rose, uh, the rose, rose Medley stamp set and the Fabulous Fauna embossing folder because it looks nice in the background there. So good luck, everybody. I'm just scrolling right to the top of all these hundreds of comments. I promise you I will read the pink shirt, pyjama bottoms. Now I've got shorts on tonight, Julie. <laughs> it's too warm in my room. Uh, so here we go. So I'm just scrolling through all the lovely comments on uh, on YouTube. I forgot where I was there for a second. So the winner on YouTube. It makes me like I love reading your comments. That's why it takes me forever to do these. So the winner on YouTube is the mouse has stopped on Doreen Cawthorn. Love your name. So congratulations, Doreen. If you could please send me an inbox message, a private message on the Sentimentally Yours Facebook page with your name and address. And just a quick reminder of what you've won. We'll get those posted off to you tomorrow. So remember everybody on YouTube, it's a new live every Monday evening at 7 p.m. So set your alarms, don't forget. So thanks everybody. And now we are over to Facebook. <laughs> you are funny. <laughs> oh crikey, how am I going to get through 800 and odd comments? So over on YouTube. Uh, not YouTube, I'm back to Facebook. Sorry everybody. So over on Facebook. I'm just scrolling through all these. Because there's hundreds of comments. So the winner on Facebook is Linda Evans. So Linda Evans, congratulations, your, the mouse has stopped on your name. So same as Doreen, just send me an inbox message on the Sentimentally Yours Facebook page and we'll get your prize packed and posted off to you. And there we go, I will take a photo of this in the morning and pop it on the Facebook pages. What a lovely couple of hours we've had. Isn't that pretty? So who said clean and simple-ish needs to be boring? Because I think that's really rather pretty. So thanks everybody for your company. Remember to follow and subscribe and like and share everything. And I will catch you on your telly box on Thursday at 6pm. So thanks everybody. I'm off for a hot coffee now and read your comments. Have a lovely rest of the evening. Don't forget there's a new drama on ITV at 9 o'clock. I'm recording it just because I know I won't be ready yet. So thanks, everybody. I'll see you on telly on Thursday. Bye.